What's up, YouTube? It is Pelfrey, and this is the Red Sea Reefer 250. In the last video, we were talking about the Brute, and I got five five-gallon buckets of water in here. I got my salt mixed up. Uh, it's been mixing for... Uh, I started mixing salt last night, so close to 24 hours, but I had to make some adjustments to the salinity. So now... I'm actually going to pull the CJ 1.5 out, put it in the display, and pull out 25 gallons of water in the display. Now, right before this water change, if you remember, I did a 10-gallon water change, and then I did a 10-gallon water change um, probably about a week before that. So my goal here is to quote or unquote, quote, unquote, reset the system, uh, especially with the very weird high nitrate spike, very weird phosphate spike the couple times i've checked phosphates with the hand of phosphorus checker it has been flashing at 200 which means that my phosphates are through the roof and i've lost a bunch of heads off of a coral that is near and dear to me because i've had this hammer it was one of the first corals that i ever got so this is going to hopefully reset the system so i'm actually going to do this water change now then I'm going to fill this back up and do another 50 or 25 gallon water change. So it's 50 gallons. This display is roughly 45 gallons. Let's just say with the rock, uh, it is 39.4. Uh, this sump is, will hold 17 gallons, but we'll just say for the sake of the video that this is uh, 70 gallons total water volume. So I'm not Mike from Mass Aquariums. If you don't follow him on Instagram, you're missing out because that guy is apparently a five-star chef. But we got some mushrooms going. I've got a whole bunch of onions going. I've got a beverage over here and some pork chops. So real quick, I do have some actual beers from Germany and then some Maker's Marks for uh, Kentucky, some Maker's Mark that was specifically made for me. You see the Pelfrey there. Scarvey's Reef sent me this. We got a little bit of this and some Crown Royal. It's empty and a big German Stein. Hang on a second. <coughs> on another random shelf, we have some Evan Williams, some Jim Beam, some Russells, some Buffalo Trace, and some 1792. What do I prefer lately? Jim Beam. Back to the tank, this is how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna remove the screen lid, if I can. Built it kinda snug, I forget. The, yeah, it's a DV aquarium screen lid that you kinda custom make, and then I cut the back of it out so I can get my cords into the tank. Next, I'm gonna move the CJ over here. I'm gonna turn off the, uh, CJ.5, I'm gonna turn off the ink bird with the heater. And then my goal here is I'm gonna drain 25 gallons. So I'm gonna drain a bucket, dump it out. And then while I'm dumping this one out, I'm gonna fill this bucket and do this uh, five times. But set the, I'm gonna leave two buckets full of water here just in case I've miscalculated in any way, I will have this water to put back in the tank. Five gallon bucket full, five gallon bucket full, 25 gallons of water fixing to go back into the tank. So you can see that that's about half of the display. And this has only taken me not even five minutes. So I, I, I'm using the CJ 1.5 to pump the water out, which is way faster than doing any type of like manual siphon or whatever. But now you can see we do have some corals that are out of the water. Look at that. Colorado sunburst anemone. So the bird's nest is out of the water. The WWC slime ball is out of the water. Uh, part of the purple uh, stylo is out. Part of this bird nest is out. Uh, this digitata is out of the water. All the euphilia are still underwater. Um, I'll be it probably not very happy with what's going on right now, but this is a pretty significant water change. So now we're gonna time-lapse 
adding this water back into the tank. tank is filled back up and there is still a little bit of water left in here which is okay because i'm going to fill this up again with rldi water about 25 gallons do another water change but normally what would happen is i would take all the equipment out get it cleaned up and then dump the rest of this water into the tank but i think that it's full enough um also Again, I keep these, uh, it's about 10 gallons of water or 9.4, whatever, just in case I don't have enough water in here. You never wanna do a water change and not have enough water. So using some of the old salt water is completely fine. And the best thing about having a smaller tank is a 25 gallon water change is very significant for a, a tank this size. Uh, like I said, I could do two of them, and it's basically a tank reset. Another question I may get asked, I'm not sure, but what salt am I using? And I'm using live Aquarius salt. I've used it for a long time now. I think it's just basically like an, um, what's the RPM, the, the Blue Box, whatever, um, Fritz Aquatics. I think it's just the same salt, but whatever. The other thing is it's nice to have this wi-fi surge protector because as i was doing the water change uh, i was able to um, describe to alexa what i wanted done so whenever i wanted this pump turned on i just had to tell her that i wanted this pump turned on when i wanted this pump turned on i just had to tell her that so let's run through this as an example alexa turn return pump on okay So I just heard, I believe, no. It didn't listen to me. Alexa, turn return pump on. Okay. There we go. I just heard the outlet come on. So the water volume is now fluctuating in sump a little bit. We should see some water coming out. So the great thing about having voice commands is that if your hands are wet, you have voice commands, you don't have to worry about touching anything or turn anything on with your phone or whatever. So the good thing about the DCP 4000 is it does a slow start. So it's gonna start up slow and then ramp its way up to whatever setting I have it on. And then we'll be good to go. I did dump out one of the buckets and a little more than half of the other bucket because my return section is pretty full. So now all I do is I take a GNC shaker cup, fill it up with water, remove it from the sump, add it to the bucket until that water volume is where I want it, which it's still probably an inch and a half or an inch above the float valve. And I want it at the bottom of the, uh, the sensor there for the tunes ATO. So I'll just keep doing this until, uh, the tank stabilizes, which also, I did increase the power. Uh, it's hard to see, but I increased the power of the JBO DCP 4000. And I did also adjust the gate valve. I still have some water flowing down the emergency drain, which I'm not worried about. I like a little bit of trickle going down it. Um, so I'll keep doing this, removing water from the sump until everything's good to go. Water change is complete. Now I'm just waiting for everything to be happy and healthy. Um, let's see. This is empty because I used this to fill up this and I've got 15 half cups of salt in here, which I'm gonna need more, but I like to go for less, measure the salinity, 
and then adjust as needed. I'll probably need like seven to nine more half scoops. There is actually 30, I did six five gallon buckets in here. So there's over 30 gallons in here. So whenever I do this water change, I will actually pull out all the equipment and dump whatever's left at the bottom of the barrel, which is like a gallon or two into the tank. And I plan to do this tomorrow um, so this video may drag on for a couple of days. So our current temperature in the tank is, or in the mixing is 60 degrees. We're set at 79. So it's going to take a little while to heat this up to uh, the temperature that I would like. And quite honestly, I've gone through about half a bag of live Aquarius salt. I get like the the big box. It mixes like 180 gallons or something like that. And I do still have some out in the garage but I like to keep my salt either in the bag or in this particular five gallon um, adapter because it has the gasket on there. You don't have to worry about any moisture or anything getting in there. Um, so I have essentially used more salt this weekend than I used all of last year, which is kind of hard to fathom. But anyway, the water volume in the return section is still a little high but I'm okay with that because that will help me adjust the salinity just a little bit more. This bucket here is salt water. This is empty. I'm gonna get this cleaned out and get it done. But uh, I need to get the screen top that's over there, put back on the tank. And that should be that for this adventure of how I do a large water change on a, uh, it's not a nano tank, but on a smaller tank. So.